Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I'm Architect WebV and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So in this video, we are going to be discussing about the climatology. It is the introduction part of this series. And in the next video, we are going to be discussing about the zonal climatic distribution of India. So please stay tuned for that. And now let us get started with the video. So what is climate? So the climate refers to the atmospheric conditions of a specific place over a considerable period of time. Okay, it usually refers to 30 to 35 years. Then what is climatology? Climatology is the scientific study of climate including its causes, changes and effects over time. It's a branch of atmospheric science that focuses on the processes that creates climatic patterns and variability. Climatology also studies how human actions affect climate and it also depends on the architecture for a particular place of the climate okay now there are different global climatic zones okay and in india also we have different zone and distributions so now discussing about the global climatic zones there are five different zones such as tropical dry moderate continental and polar so these are the global climatic zones and in tropical we have two categories in dry we have two categories moderate also we have three categories likewise okay so there are different climatic zones all over the globe so we have to discuss that in detail now now coming on to the seasons so we have four seasons on the earth like autumn summer winter and spring okay so uh, discussing about the seasons each season has its own weather patterns light and temperature that repeats every year but the temperature the light and the pattern may vary every year okay that is the climatic change okay and climatologists usually use full months to represent the seasons like winter we know that winter comes in December, January and February. Likewise, spring, March through May. Then summer lasts from June to August and fall September to November. Now discussing about weather. So what is weather? Weather refers to the condition of atmosphere of a specific place over a short period of time. Okay, so weather changes every day, right? And because of now global warming, you might have experienced tons of weather changes in a day. So weather consists of four elements, okay, such as temperature, precipitation, humidity, pressure and winds, okay. So now discussing about temperature, you might have experienced that in summers the temperature increases, the light also increases, okay, and in winters we have low light and then so much of uh, winter winds then less temperature so now if we see what is temperature it is the degree of hotness and coldness of a place temperature is affected by solar radiation reaching the earth's surface amount of solar radiation is determined by latitude altitude and distance from the sea so we are going to be discussing about latitude altitude and distance from the sea as well discussing about humidity so what is humidity basically it is the amount of water vapor in the air it is invisible okay so humidity indicates the probability of precipitation dew or fog if there is a lot of water vapor in the air the humidity will be high the higher the humidity the wetter it feels outside okay on the weather reports humidity is usually explained as relative humidity so you can see here um, the water from the sea evaporates then it goes into the state of condensation and then in the form of precipitation okay then discussing about precipitation precipitation is water falling from the atmosphere onto the earth surface in the form of rain snow and hail form of precipitation depends on the temperature of the place where it falls okay now discussing about our wind pressure so as you can see the clouds and where there is a high pressure there is a cool air and where there is a low pressure there is a warm air so let us discuss about the winds and the pressure so air pressure is the force caused by the weight of air on the earth's surface wind is the movement of air okay so as i mentioned low pressure occurs when the altitude is higher releasing warm air movement and when 
high pressure occurs there is altitude lower releasing cold air movement okay then discussing about the climatic factors so these are the basic climatic factors like latitude altitude and distance from the sea as we discussed so let us discuss them one by one now discussing about the latitude so basically latitude it is the distance in degrees north or south of the equator so this is your equator okay and equator always has 0 degrees okay then uh, it is written before longitude and latitude is written with a number followed by either north or south depending on the whether it is located on north or south of the equator so this is south pole and this is north pole we have to tell which pole it refers to and what degree it refers to if i say it is referring to 60s that means it is on the south pole of 60 degrees okay so you have to keep this in mind and discussing about the longitude it is written with a number followed by followed by either east or west depending on whether it is located east or west of the prime meridian now discussing about the altitude so altitude is measured from sea level okay or the earth surface to the any object and the height of the object okay so discussing about the altitude it is the distance between a reference point and an object or a point usually in the vertical direction okay for example altitude can be height of a structure or object above sea level or the earth surface okay it can also be the position of celestial objects above the horizon measured in degrees now discussing about the distance from the sea the difference of heating and cooling of land and sea has an effect on the temperatures of coastal area coastal areas have a lower temperature than in land areas okay on the coast winters are mild and summers are cold and in land areas uh, winters are cold and high temperatures in the summer okay so during the day as the land gets heated up more quickly than the sea the hot air over the land rises and a local low pressure is created over it and cooler air from the sea rushes to the low pressure area to take place of the rise in air this is known as sea breeze okay as you can see in the first picture and at night what happens is the sea retains its warmth longer than the land the air over the sea rises the air over the sea rises and there is local low pressure zone created over it air from the land then taken rushes to the low pressure zone and over the sea to take the place of the rise in air this is known as land breeze okay so there are sea breeze and land breeze okay so now discussing about the climatic zones of india there are several climatic zones like hot and dry warm and humid composite temperate and cold okay so these are the uh, six types of climate here india is a home to an extraordinary variety of climate regions ranging from the tropical uh, in the south to temperate and alpine in the himalayan north and where elevated regions receive sustained winter snowfall the nation's climate is strongly influenced by the himalayas and the thar desert okay so we are going to be discussing all of the six climates in the next video so please stay tuned for that and yes with that we have completed the part 1 of climatology please stay tuned for the part 2 and the question bank i'll see you in my next video you know the drill please like comment share and subscribe to my channel below i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye